Hey guys, this is Sign879. Um, I decided to test out this new uh, Nomadic DLC and see these units of uh, Royal Scathia, the Roxo, whatever, yes. that tribe that's above Parthia. And basically what I did was, I played as Seleucids because my Seleucids, the Seleucids are my favorite faction. I basically used pretty much their best cavalry user, which is, uh, let's see, the Azat Knights right here. And some, and their Cataphrats. And pretty much faced it up against every horse unit, the, every melee horse unit the uh, Nomad DLC guys have. So I wanted to see how they fare. Um, just to make you know... I've t all the tests I've done, um, the Azant Knights destroy every single cavalry I've seen before, I've seen so far, the Noble Riders, uh, the Royal Cataphrats from Parthia, everything has been destroyed by these Azant Knights thanks to their, uh, 74 melee defense and their good melee attack, weapon damage, and charge bonus. So, they've proven themselves so far and that's why they're pretty much their favorite unit and why I love salutes it even more because they have such a great cavalry force and not even a they have a pretty decent infantry force too so here um i have 15 units i believe and i gave the enemy 17 units i didn't really count very well but yeah there'll be some lag because there's so many damn horsemen as you see uh they are pretty much getting their ass kicked I haven't act I'm not activating any of my abilities either. And the AI is actually pretty smart here. As you can see, they're actually re-entering and charging back in. Really makes no difference. You can see here that the uh, AI used Trample for pretty much all their units. And as some of you probably know, Trample makes fatigue. So, it did cause some casualties, but my guys Especially my Zot Knights took it pretty, uh, pretty well, because they have that me charge melee defense, expert melee for charge defense. So you can see, even my Cataphrat, my Cataphrats pretty much are losing, because they're shock cavalry, obviously facing melee cavalry. Well, these are shock cavalry too, and they're losing. I don't understand that. My Cataphrats are losing, and these guys are losing. So pretty much the Zot Knights are doing everything. As you can tell, they're like a super unit. Alright, first enemy general fell. Which is this guy over here. Yeah, so, pretty much, Azat Knights are like... If you remember uh, Noble frickin' Riders, the Azat Knights are now the kings. By far. Because they have frickin' melee defense. But, I, I, like the, I like the look of the these guys. They look pretty cool. I don't know why they decided to add three factions. Honestly, I would have been fine with one or two. Uh, they, these green guys over here, you always fight as Parthia. And I like their Cataphrats. Uh, I don't know justify really three. But I guess it was free, so I can't complain. There's my Zad Knights charging again. And now I'm pretty much just kicking ass here. I know this may not be a fair comparison, but I guess you could call this just a look. And just also to show how fucking powerful the Azad Knights, excuse my language, but seriously, they're they're just awesome. And the Cataphrats did alright too, they didn't cause as many casualties as I liked, but they still did pretty decent. They took the most ca casualties obviously because they made melee defense matter so much in this game. And so that's it. So uh, this is sign eight seven nine. Um, I'm probably gonna be starting a, a nomad campaign. So if you guys want to see that, uh, just let me know in the comments below, and uh, I can show some gameplay of that. So till next time, this is sign eight seven nine. Out for now.